Grants for the month of May from $5,000 to $25,000 to $75,000 in grants and rapid financial assistance grants. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Rindy from Match Rindy and welcome to the number one community for real estate, income, grants, and credit. So if you'd like to know what these new grants are for the month of May, those that are expiring that need to apply now, make sure you watch the video to the end and leave a comment below if you need help with anything. So we're gonna be sharing with you new grants every month from small business grants to rapid financial assistance grants to personal grants to transportation grants to self-employed grants to freelancer grants to multi-year grants and much more. And we're going to be updating our calendar section on my website, ashwini.com, and you can view our calendar section for the latest updates on grants. Also, our Grants Masterclass is now open. So if you'd like to get grants and free money for your business, and also learn how to properly set up your business to get grants consistently, make sure you join us for our Grants Masterclass by going to my website, ashwini.com, clicking on Grants, and getting started today. Number one, San Francisco, Financial Recovery Grants, $11.9 million in grants. So Mayor London Breed just recently announced the kickoff of a new grant program for small businesses in San Francisco. And these grants are meant to help stabilize and grow these struggling small businesses with much needed financial support as they repair their storefronts, facades, and also pay for expenses. So these grants are actually being administered by the Office of Economic and Workforce Development in San Francisco. And they're actually holding digital and virtual workshops to be able to go over eligibility criteria. And they're calling these workshops technical assistance conferences that they're holding via Zoom. And we're going to be including the Zoom link right below so you can actually click on it to get all the eligibility criteria for this particular grant. Now this is $11.9 million in grants, but there's a lot of money up for grabs for small businesses to take advantage and be participate and become a part of this change happening in San Francisco. Now the deadline to apply for this grant is May 19th and the awards will start to go out in July. Now you can get more information on this grant by going directly to the Office of Economic Workforce Development's website at oewd.org. You can also get additional information by going directly to the City of San Francisco's website at sfgov.org. Number two, Pflugerville, Texas. Pflugerville Cares Small Business Grant, $25,000 to $75,000 in grants. So these are rapid financial assistance grants and these are the second round of grants from Pflugerville, Texas. The first round of grants, they actually had grants from $20,000 to $75,000. So they've since raised the bar. And these rapid financial assistance grants are meant to help businesses that have been impacted by the pandemic that are looking to still try to recover. There are many businesses that are struggling to keep their doors open, to maintain employees, to cover their business overhead. And these rapid financial assistance grants are meant to be able to help them to be able to bridge that gap. Where they're falling short, they can actually help them by these substantial grants which are meant to help these companies recover and also hire and keep their workforce going, keep the economy going locally in Pflugerville. So the applications for these grants open on May 15th, and the grants can be used and reimbursed for operational expenses. So these grants are on a grant tier system. So the grant amounts are based on your employee count. So from 0 to 14 employees, you're eligible for $25,000 in grants. From 15 to 40 employees, you're eligible for $50,000 in grants. And for 41 employees and more, you're eligible for $75,000 in grants. So to be eligible for these grants, your business must meet the following criteria. Number one, you must be a for-profit business that has been in business since March 1st of 2019. Number two, your business must be located in Pflugerville. Number three, you must have a social security number or an EIN. Number four, your business must be able to demonstrate a 25% gross income loss as of 2021. Number five, you must have filed tax returns for the last three years, from 2019 through 2021. And finally, you must be current on property taxes. So to apply for this grant, which I strongly encourage you to apply for this grant immediately, you can go directly to their website at bcloftexas.org forward slash pcares. We're also going to leave links and also all the details that we have on this grant in our resource area as we've actually added more information on this specific grant in our resource area at my website, askrenee.com. Number three, Butte County, California. $10,000 in grant. So Butte County and the city of Chico just recently announced the Butte Business Stabilization Grant. So these are $10,000 grants that are meant to actually help local businesses recover from the pandemic. And the goal of these grants is to help these small businesses create more jobs and the grant money can be used for rent and also operational expenses. 
So to qualify for this grant, your business must be located in the city of Chico. You must have less than 100 employees. You also must have no bankruptcies in the last three years. You also must be current on taxes. As I've shared all around the country with these ARPA funds and other grant programs that are administering these funds for small businesses, they want businesses that are actually current on taxes. So make sure you're paying attention to that. And if you're planning on applying for grants, make sure you're current on taxes if you want these grant sources to be able to remit these funds to you because they're looking for those. Remember, a lot of these municipalities is a working flow. They actually want to give grants to companies and businesses that are creating jobs and also lending towards their tax revenue. So this grant will be given on the lottery system. And the grant application opens on May 2nd, and the deadline to apply is May 20th. So you can actually get more information by going directly to the website at buttebusinessresourcehub.org forward slash eligibility. Number four, Old Lyme, Connecticut. $10,000 in grants. So Old Lyme, Connecticut just recently announced a new economic recovery and community initiative grant program. Now these are for both for-profit and also non-profit organizations. And these are opera funds that are being administered by the town to be able to help organizations as well as small businesses recover. So they actually have two grant programs, one for the economic recovery and one for the community initiative. For the economic recovery, these are actually $10,000 grants that are meant to help these small businesses recover higher and actually pay for operational expenses. So for those for-profits as well as non-profits that are actually petitioning and applying for the economic recovery grant, those grants go up to $10,000. For the community initiative grant program, there's actually a pitch that you're going to be making and if you actually are rewarded the grant, you actually have to spend the money by December of 2026. So to apply for this specific grant is very important to start right away because the deadline to apply for this grant is May 2nd. So you want to actually apply for the grant if you're thinking about going for this particular grant, you need to apply right away as time is of the essence. So for this grant, they have a PDF grant application and the eligibility criteria is actually included on the application itself. So you can actually get that by going directly to the website and applying for this grant by going to online-ct.gov. Number five, the Hello Alice Small Business Growth Fund. $5,000 in grants. So Hello Alice has been instrumental in administering grants for small businesses, like the KKR grant that we featured here on our channel. So the application for this grant is very simple. It's actually 50 questions. It takes about 20 minutes and is actually a flow. So to qualify for this grant, your business must have less than $1 million in revenue. You must be focused on customer service. You must be able to demonstrate and show how you would actually use the funds and what your, what your grant plan is, what your clarity is, what you're going to be using the grants for, and be able to demonstrate and show them that. And in addition, to qualify for this $5,000 grant, your business must be a for-profit business. So the deadline to apply for this grant is May 20th, and there's a review process for this grant. They're going to be reviewing the grant from May 23rd to June 24th. Now the announcement will be made in July as to who the winner is. And you can apply for this grant by going directly to the website at helloalice.com. Number six, Warren, Ohio, $10,000 in grants. So the Trumbull County Commissioner just recently announced the Cares for Trumbull Small Business Relief Fund, which is $10,000 grants to be able to help small businesses in their local area. So these grants are actually meant to help with pandemic relief, as is the case all around the country, helping these businesses actually hire people, keep their doors open, and pay for operational expenses. So these grants are going to be given out on a first-come, first-served basis. And to be eligible for these grants, your business must be located in Trumbull County. You must have less than $1.5 million in revenue on an annual basis. Your business must have less than 15 employees, and you also must be current in taxes. So as you can see, this is a recurring theme with many of these ARPA funds or other grant programs where they actually want you to be current on your state taxes and current on your property tax. In addition to that, you must be a for-profit business that's been in business since January of 2019. So to apply for this grant, you can go directly to their website at valleyedp.com. Number seven, Islip, New York, $5,000 in grants. So the town of Islip just recently announced its new KIT program, Keep Islip Thriving Grant Program for Small Businesses. So these are ARPA funds to be able to help with pandemic related expenses. So they've acknowledged that some for-profit businesses and then some nonprofits have been greatly affected by the pandemic. And they put these funds aside to be able to help them recover help them create jobs, help them pay for operational expenses, etc. So to qualify for this $5,000 grant, businesses can apply directly with the town. 
Now the eligibility criteria for this grant include, your business must be located in Iceland for at least two years. You must have less than 500 employees. You must be able to demonstrate financial hardship, genuine financial hardship as a result of the pandemic. And you also must be current on taxes, which is the recurring theme as we're seeing. So you can actually apply for this four page grant application by going directly to the website at islipny.gov. Number eight, Belton, Texas, $2,000 in grants. So Belton just recently announced the new upcoming phase two of this grant program for small businesses. So these are ARPA funds that are being administered to be able to help small businesses recover from the pandemic and actually recover their pandemic related losses. So they actually had a phase one that completed in September of 2020 and that was successful and they gave out to a lot of businesses to be able to help them at that time. Now they're gearing up for phase two to be able to help these businesses roll out and be able to help their employee count and help carrying their operational expenses, etc. So to qualify for this grant, they have actually several criteria that you must adhere to. You must be locally owned and also operated, independently operated. So you must be a local business to Belton. The business must also have less than 500 employees. You also must be able to prove financial loss due to pandemic. So you actually need to be able to demonstrate it. And one unique thing for this particular grant is that they actually want you to provide a budget of your spend. So there will be a review of spend like what we teach you guys in our grants master class. There will be a review of spend where they actually go through and see what you're spending the money on and itemize it. You will need to be able to be accountable to them for the grant fund. Now they're planning to prioritize hotels and also hospitality services as those businesses have been among some of the most hardest hit businesses in that area. So other businesses can still apply for this grant. And if you're interested in applying as this is an upcoming grant and phase two is coming up, you can actually go to two websites to get information on what's happening. And you can go to ctcog.org. You can also go directly to their website at beltontexas.gov. So these are just some of the grants for the month of May. And we couldn't include all of them as we don't like to keep the video too long. So if you'd like to get more grants for this month and also grants in your area, we have thousands of grants in our resource area at my website, ashreeney.com. We have grants for personal, grants for small business. We have rolling grants, multi-year grants, and much more. So make sure you go to our website at ashreeney.com, click on grants, and get started today. Also, I'd like to send you our free five-step grant guide where you can actually get more information on how to start in the process of getting grants for your small business and applying for grants consistently. Also, remember our Grants Masterclass is now open. So if you'd like to learn how to position your company to be able to get grants consistently, if you'd like to learn how to start the process of applying for grants on a monthly basis, make sure you join us for our Grants Masterclass by going to my website at ashwinia.com, clicking on Grants, and getting started today. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me. My email address is askreadynetwork at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Till next time, thank you so much for watching. <music>